we're going to be learning about Sokotoa. Ms. Topol, what does Sokotoa mean? Well, Brandon, let me tell I'm you. I'm going to have my TA teach you about Sokotoa. Sokotoa is divided into three different parts. Sine, cosine, and tangent. So for sine, you have to look at opposite and hypotenuse from your angle. For cosine, it's adjacent and hypotenuse. And for tangent, you're looking at opposite and adjacent. So how do you solve for x? So, Brandon, you have two legs. One is x and one is 10. And because with 38 degrees, this is the opposite and this is the adjacent, we're going to use tangent. You're going to write tangent of 38 degrees equals, and because it's opposite over adjacent, you use x over 10. <laughs> and then, to write the problem out, you're going to times by 10. So then it's 10 times a tangent of 38 equals x. So Brandon, if you plug it into your calculator, what is it? Let me see here. 7.81. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, Miss Johnson, how do you do number four? Okay, so, Brandon, to start off with number four, you have to look at X, your angle. So, you start off, you write down measure of angle X. And then you have to look for the sides that it's going to. So, you're looking at opposite, and that's 15, and adjacent, that's 7. So, that would be... Tangent, or yep. so on. Okay, so then you write down tangent. And then this is the inverse since we're solving for the angle. So you have to write down the inverse. Okay? So then opposite 15 over 7. And then you plug that into your calculator and find out what that answer is. 11 miles to the beach. Nice. Let's go. Shoot! We forgot Emily! Shoot! Six. Hey, we can use our adventure as a problem for Sokotoa. 
We started driving 11 miles from the school to the beach, and then we took a detour 5 miles back to the school, and we have to solve for the angle of x. So we're going to write the measure of angle s equals, and because this, the two detour is opposite of the school, and the 11 miles we drove to the beach is adjacent, we would use tangent. And we have to use inverse because it's a measure of angles. <laughs> and then it would be, and because it's opposite over adjacent, 5 over 11, oh. <laughs> which would be 24.44 degrees.